Hi YouTube. Today I want to do a video on um, part two of um, the jailbreaking starter kit. If you follow part one, it should show the top ten applications you should get to starting out with. If you did, you probably installed Bosscrafts and OpenSSH. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to be ready for OpenSSHing and have the right software. So right now we're going to start with the iPod. And which we should what you should have on here is um Wi Fi and SSH and make sure your power cable is plugged into the iPod. Okay, once you like that you're good. Now um look into the video description and you should see the link for uh Win SCP. Um if you're using Vista and XP it should work fine. If you're using Mac you should probably look for Cyberduck. I don't have the link for it, but um that's what everyone's using for Mac. Uh now after you install the program um, you can have an icon on your desktop. It's an easy installation, so I don't really have to install it. It's pretty much straightforward. Now, um, this is what you're going to have to do. Pretty much you'll have to put in a host name, username, and password. The host name is your IP address. The username should be root, R, O, O, T, and the password is Alpine, A, P, L, I, N, E. Now I want to show you how to get your IP from your iPod. Now, um, I'm going to put the camera on the iPod now. What you want to do is you want to go to settings. Once you're in settings, you'll see Wi-Fi. Okay, you'll see your network you're connected. Click the blue arrow, and it should show your IP address. It should start with a 192 or something like that. Now, once you have your IP address in there, you should put in root for the username and Alpine for the password. Make sure you make a profile and save it and uh, it should be easier. Now I'm going to log in so I'm going to move the camera away so you don't see my IP. I'll put the password in Alpine and look I'm connected. So that's pretty much how SSHings work. Um, use it at your own risk and make sure you don't delete or do anything to any of the files because this is the internal iPod files. So you definitely don't want to mess with anything. This is good for ringtones, ROMs, and pretty much basic stuff. The next video, I'll show you how to um, use music. So, till then, see ya.